Saying that um, the matter of um, rotating salmon between all the elders in the church is mm. not correct. Yeah. Because we are all not called to preach. It's not everybody there that is called to preach. Some people will go to the altar and water down the pulpit. Mm. So let salmon be preached. Let people be given salmon to preach based on the leading of God. One, mm. based on the fact that we have done all our due diligences and we know that this person should preach. And not just that, okay, um, the summer is your turn now today, it's your turn tomorrow. Yeah. And then um, one day, somebody now followed me to church. And here one person saying, like what she just said now, you, I tell you the truth. I have experienced it. Man, that, yes. That's what I'm saying. When you go, you see some people just like this. Somebody was in the church. I don't want to mention the name of the church. Not my church, I, but I don't want to mention the church. And the person got there and said, I, I, I'm telling you somebody well-placed in Nigeria. Mm. was so unfortunate that the person that preached that day was the wrong person. Mm -hmm. When the person finished preaching, they just called the person that invited them. I said, is this where you worship? So, yeah. Here? He said, you are enslaved. You, are, you have been enslaved. Is this a church? Get out of this place and go and look for a Bible-believing church. And I'm sure if they had come the day somebody better preached, they would have said, wow, wow. But you know, that day the rotation did not favor the church. Mm -hmm. So why do you favor, why do you want to rotate? Do you know the day the revival will come? Mm -hmm. And then you decided to just feature and say, Baba, can you, you don't you don't come. And the person now come and now say, say something. Mm -hmm. The person is even fighting you. Do you know why people fight for someone? Because they know that they can rotate someone. Mm -hmm. No. If you are the pastor of the church, you are the first preacher. I said that to one church, and to the glory of God today, they will never forget. And it has really helped them. You are the first preacher in this church. Then let God lead you to bring more people. Raise more people. Who can handle these people? Raise them. Don't just future them because they are ordained. In the first place, why did you ordain them? Mm. 